Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Manna. We're discussing this week the ever-changing seasons of life. Yesterday, we talked about the first stage or season, childhood. The next season of life we enter into, I'm referring to as the pimple years. (laughs) It's during this season that we come into maturity. We experience lots of changes physically. We learn about love, learn about interests and hobbies. And man, there were those zits, gross pimples all over my face. Spiritually speaking, this is when our walk with God begins to develop. Our spiritual roots begin to go deep. It reminds me of the parable of the seed and the sower from Matthew 13, where the roots go deeper and deeper. It says in verse 7, other seed fell among the thorns which grew up and choked the plants. Still other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Whoever has ears, let them hear. In this stage of life, we also begin to develop and learn about romance. I'll never forget the first time I laid eyes on Rachel. I was fifteen years old, and she and a few of her friends came to youth group one Friday night. And this was back in the 70s, during the Jesus Movement at the church my dad pastored in New Jersey. Man, I was smitten. Spiritually speaking, in this season of life, we fall deeper in love with Jesus. Romans 8 becomes our reality. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. And here we go. The key verse is, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor demons Neither the present nor the future or any other power will be in height or depth will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. What a great promise from God's word. God bless you today.